Welcome everybody to Road to the Show 113. I just got a huge, huge promotion in the lineup going from the 9-8 hitter to number 5. Wow, that did not take long. Daniel Palka is our cleanup hitter? Really? Wow, I thought it would be like Yohan Mancata or Yonder Alonso or Jose Abreu, but whatever, I don't make the lineup, I'm just a part of the team. I don't have control of that. Daytime baseball against the Tigers, who are 42 and 42, we're 37 and 48. So our record is not looking so pretty. I want to get us the best record I can before the end of the season. There is my infield buddy Tim Anderson signing autographs. That's an awesome shot right there. That really is. I Hopefully I can get that shot one day. I'd love to have it. Blake, whoa! Blake Snell is on my team. This is news to me, but he's 2-7. Wow. Whatever happened to that year, or uh, ERA, I was reading his ERA, that's why I almost said ERA. Whatever happened to that Cy Young season, I don't think it's there anymore. Jeez, or we just can't provide him the offense. So, yeah, that might be our fault a little bit, and my number changed. I uh, noticed this when I was picking these uniforms. My guy was wearing 34 instead of 36. Well, I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't constantly change. And this guy's running quick. And out. Still got him. Okay. Well, I was actually scrolling through the White Sox uniforms. And I was like, wow. We got a lot of dope uniforms. They really do. So I'm going to be playing with that a lot more from now on. Look at that helmet. I love how the helmet changes too. Hopefully we get our first no doubt home run in this episode. Waiting for this pitch is going to be a hit up the middle. That's a single. Okay, so I'm going to turn the corner and go back, right? What are the Tigers wearing? They got red hats on. What are these uniforms? I don't know. Wait a minute. Were we supposed to wear... Oh, it's July 4th. That's why. <laughs> I knew it when uh, when the game suggested to me that we wear with like it gave me like an American hat that it suggested to wear and I was like huh I wonder why well obviously that's because it's July 4th and that is a fly out whatever I I guess we're just skipping it this year for the White Sox I'll, I'll wear it next game I'll wear it next game to make up for it okay now who, who yeah Michael Fulmer oh he's trying to pick me off Michael Fulmer is on the mound for the Tigers they don't look much different. They still got Miggy. They still got Fulmer. So pretty much the same Tigers. I think Josh Harrison is the second baseman still. I believe Castellanos is still on the team. And he's trying to pick me off again. He's not going to get me. I accidentally used this stick to go back instead of the, the one on the left side. And that almost cost me. Anyways, stop worrying about me. Two outs. Oh, wait, full count. That's probably why. With two outs, he thinks I'm going to steal. And uh, what did he walk? He walked. Okay. So I get to just jog into, what do you call it, so, uh, yeah, second base. Next, I don't know who that is. Hopefully, whoever it is will drive me in. Come on, drive me in for the first run of the game. And that's not getting through. They, he should have kicked it. That's what he should have done. And nope, we get nothing from that. Okay, still waiting for the day I wear 33, you know, my number. Nico Goodrum, he's a Tiger, so he's still on the Tigers. Like I said, not a huge time jump. We're still in 2019 this is 2019 so i got caught up pretty quickly and i gotta move over for this and if i would have known to dive i would have that's gonna be the first run so if i would have dove it might have prevented a run but i thought i could run all the way over there and grab it apparently i was wrong now i'm looking for that first note out home run we still haven't seen it it is a one run game so that would help and this is not going to be that home run. It's going to be another single up the middle. So I'm going to turn and I'm going to hold it right here with two outs. Okay. Can we get a run in with two outs? Can I get my first no doubt home run? That's what I really want to do is hit the first no doubt home run. But it's just, it keeps avoiding me lately. I don't know why. Here's this and that's not going to be a run scoring hit. That's just going to be the third out. Darn it. Okay. Well, looks like I gotta go back on the field. Nope, back into the batter's box, okay. Ooh, oh, whoa, we took a big lead, okay, okay. Well, Blake Snell's pitching good for us today, so that's good to know. Come on, let's get this, and oh, that was so slow. Somebody, tell me, 78 miles an hour. Honestly, thought it was slower. I thought it was gonna be like 70 or 71. 
Here's the pitch. And this is flying. They're not catching up to it. Or, no, no he isn't. Oh my god. How did he catch up to that? I thought for sure if that wasn't gone, it, it was at least a hit. But wow. How? Yeah, look, yeah I guess he deserves this because I don't know how on earth he caught up to this. I don't even want to know. I'm just baffled on how the fact he even got to it. Blake Snell's still on the mound. He wears number six now, and it's the top of the six. We have six runs. Miguel Cabrera's bunting. Miguel Cabrera, out of all people, is bunting. Is the Tigers manager crazy? Whatever. Not. I mean, if you want to help us win, then that's all on you, buddy. It looks like we're going to get a double play opportunity right here. Hopefully get out of this inning for Blake Snell. Come on, Blake. You got it, and we'll do it. Come on, come on. Don't let there... Oh, my God. I was going to say, don't let there be an error. And lo and behold, there was an error. Am I going to have to field again? That's what they usually make me do when I see or a mistake like that happens. No, okay. I'm just going straight to the batter's box. Still can't believe that was caught my last at-bat. Hopefully this one, no doubt. Uh, well, it's the same area. And not as deep. This one's easier. Darn it. Okay. Whatever. We're still winning. So scoreboard. And we won. Blake Snell got the victory it looks like. So that's awesome knowing that he's on our team. And we got him a victory. I wish I hit a no doubt home run. Oh hey. They take off their gloves and carry them? Did not know that. Had no idea that was one of the animations. Anyways, let's play another one. I think we can improve on your season fielding numbers. Let's make it happen, Austin. Okay, fine. Jeez, coach. Now, I wish the one time I didn't go to the choose uniform option was the 4th of July. So now I will set this to the 4th of July. Well, I think I have to go to individual uniforms to do that. Let's make it the home and then there should yeah the start they, this is what we were gonna wear and then i totally blanked and was like why are we wearing this and then it hit me but uh let's wear this same uniform that we wore in the first game just with the stars and stripes hat and we'll call this our fourth of july because i brain farted and the one time i chose uniforms was on the fourth of july of course and look at that cody allen is our saves leader when we just dfa'd him why can he be this good Oh, that's, that hurts. Mike Trout's at 31 home runs before the All-Star break. That would also be very nice. My God. Okay. Am I about to find out we have another, like, All-Star pitcher in our rotation right now that I had no idea was on the team? We'll see. Uh, okay, well, the teams are just going to come out to the field. The Cubs having a good season. We are not having a good season, but hopefully I can turn that around by the end of the season for us. Hopefully I can be a huge help. Anyway, did my number change again? Because I just saw people wearing 35 jerseys. I don't know if it... The, yeah, I'm wearing 34. I'm right there behind Carlos Rodon. Anyways, the Cubs did not score right away. I go straight back down to the number 9 hole when I just had a two-hit game for you. How dare you, coach? Just how dare you? Okay, I'll be waiting here for a ground ball since I need to improve on my fielding. And apparently that sends me down four spots in the lineup. Uh, well, dude, you got to get there. You got to get there. Dude. Oh, my God. We were both racing for it. I was running behind him in case he wanted to flip it or something. You know, we did like a cool play. But that wasn't the case. Anyways, top three now. Here I am with 34 is my number now. I think I'm just going to go to my settings and change my number to something I would like to wear. If it's not 33, then I'll find another number that I, like, I myself want to wear, not one that the game is automatically giving me because 33 is taken. Whoever has it on this team, how dare you, first of all. Now, Daniel Descalso. Okay, I've had three fielding opportunities and haven't hit once so far. Come on. Let's get a ground ball and then give me the bat in my hands. Oh my god, all this bunting. Like, I'm not getting any action if it's going to everybody else. Let me do stuff, okay? Come on. Okay, Mankata struck out and now I'm batting. Look, I'm batting 565 and you guys are putting me ninth in the lineup. I guess you want that big power guy, you know, at the bottom just in case. And that is another hit that I got the zone on badly, but I mean, it's a hit, so... Batting average still goes up. Anyways, let's get on with this. It is Chris Owings. 
who uh, I saw a comment from one of you saying Chris Owings sucks. I know who he is. I've seen him around baseball for a few years now. But I just remember one of you laying into him and he's like, Chris Owings is terrible. If you're watching this video, then uh, comment again and that was you. Because I remember seeing that comment and if you're coming back to watch, thank you. And that <laughs> I just found that pretty funny. Anyways, Tim Anderson now. I trust more. Come on, Timmy. And, well, uh, line out. Then whatever. Third out. Can't really do much about it. Now it's me again. Okay. Almost back up to 600. We need a run on the board, okay? It's the bottom of the fifth. My God, these slow pitches. That's foul. That's foul. Yes. Okay. Thank you. That was 75 miles an hour. Okay. I need to adjust. I need to be ready. Come on. Give us the lead with the home run. Oh my god, they're destroying me these slow curveballs. It's getting ridiculous. Come on. 0-2 count. That doesn't scare me, okay? I, I'm still going to have a good at-bat right now. Here we go. 0-2 count. I'm a hitter. And this is to center, and it's right to center. So, out. Darn it. Okay. That was not the at-bat I was looking for. I still, still, that no doubt home run is avoiding me. I have another shot right here driving a run. That's the hardest one, really. Okay, where is he? Just first? Okay, I understand why it's the hardest one now. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to destroy this baseball. I'm going to power swing right now. And this. Oh, okay, it didn't lift it as much as I would like. Go three. Go. Why would you not go three? My God. You had all the time in the world. Oh, my God. And I power swung. I was hoping to lift that. But absolute, well, I mean, I did, but not as much as I wanted. Chris Owings with two outs now. Are we seriously going to lose one to zero? You know how heartbreaking that would be? Come on. Let's give me something good, Chris. Oh, striking out, not good, especially when it's the last out, Chris Owings. And I get another at bat. And of course, we get a run. And then the Cubs get another run. I could walk it off right now. I just realized that. Let's go power swing. Come on. And this, oh, 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 fell that off, okay. This could be a huge moment in my career. Boom, oh no, that's gonna be out number two and I don't get the walk off home run. Why? I get these opportunities and I'm not coming through, but we won and walk off anyway, so whoever did it, thank you. Was it Chris Owings? They're going over to interview Chris Owings. I think it was Chris Owings. Thank you so much. Anyways, a few minutes to the end of the video. Like the video, subscribe. I'll see you next time.